Here's a brief overview of Course 110, Transformer Distributed Loudspeaker Systems. The key to designing and troubleshooting these systems is to understand how they work. The key to understanding how they work is to have the proper background. Our Course 100, Principles of Audio, provides the foundation. If you've taken our advice, you're already a graduate of Principles of Audio and you're ready to take Transformer Distributed Loudspeaker Systems. I start the course with an overview of transformers, the heart and soul of distributed systems. As always, I'll provide practical examples using analogies and metaphors and keep the math to a minimum. Watch the transformer lesson several times before proceeding to the next lesson. Study the support PDF files carefully and watch Transformers again after completing the other lessons to solidify your understanding. The next lesson, Distributed Systems Part 1, is an overview of the distributed system concept. This gets you the big picture before we zoom in on the details. Distributed Systems Part 2 covers the basics of determining the sound pressure level and required number of loudspeakers for these systems. The inner workings of distributed systems are well established, and some lightweight math will help you understand them and figure out what will work from the drawing board. I've provided some PDF files with the formulas used for distributed system design. The Sanadkan Audio Click Rule includes a distributed system calculator for running the numbers. Like the other sections of the Click Rule, it is mouse driven and visual. With it, you can develop a feel for how these systems work that will aid you in design work and troubleshooting. A link for downloading and installing the click rule is included in the lesson. The final lesson provides a few scenarios for reviewing the principles covered in the course using the audio click rule. The examples chosen are real world and include a very basic system and one that is more advanced. These systems are basically cookie cutter. They all work the same way, with the same variables. The scenarios were chosen to walk you through the system design process by scaling these variables accordingly. Use the forum included in our learning management system to ask questions or offer comments. We want to interact with you as you progress through the course to make it the best learning experience possible. Once you take the final exam, you can get your continuing education units for the course. Well, that's our overview. We hope you enjoy Transformer Distributed Loudspeaker Systems.